Hey, welcome to Clown Dolls. Finally, the drag race queen is in Holland. Oh my god, and the queens, they are amazing. And of course, we have a winner. And for today's video, I'm gonna use Twyla from Monster High doll. As usual, I'm gonna cut the hair really short. I'm gonna make the vinyl soft with my hot gun so that I can take the head off without breaking it really carefully. With my tweezers, I'm gonna scratch inside and take the rest of the hair through the neck hole and the glue also. With my exact knife, I'm gonna carefully take the fabric marks out and with my nail buffers, I'm gonna sand the body. This time, I ordered Warbler to make the shoes and the corset and she's coming in a box that contain products as beautiful as a farting unicorn. I cannot wait to open it. I make a mold of the shoes, cut it in the Warbler and make the Warbler warm with my hot gun and I start to making the shoes, the Louis Vuitton shoes that she wear it, the iconic red sole. Now they are ready, I'm gonna paint them with my black glossy. Let it dry and paint the sole of the shoes in red. And then I protect the shoes with my varnish glossy. For the panties that she wear, I'm going to use these old panties, it's the best uh, because they are elastic and you can uh, easily attach to the leg of the doll. I cut it a mold and I'm sewing by hand next to the leg. With this black fabric I'm going to make the jacket. I already cut the mold, it's a normal mold that you use for a blouse, a jacket. I'm gonna sew in the shoulders. I already attached the mouse also. I cut it a, a round skirt and with the black tool I'm gonna make the upper side of the jacket. Now I just have to decorate it. I made a ruffle in the back side to give it more shape. And I'm gonna decorate it with these black feathers. And with the black tool, I'm gonna make a ruffle and attach it in the back side. I cut a different sizes of the black tool and I sew them together. And it's like this. Now it's time to apply the feathers in the mouse and in the jacket, in the front of the jacket. I'm gonna attach more black feathers in this cord. I make it a, an accessory that goes around the neck. I start from the end so that the feathers can match each other in the middle. And that's how he looks. With the technique of wrapping the body and the paper tape, I'm gonna make a mold of the corset and I'm gonna draw it in my word block and cut it. <laughs> the girl, put the 
with a hot gun. I, I make him soft and I give him the shape of the body of the doll. I'm gonna cover corset in this black satin fabric with glue. I hold him fast and I let it dry for the night. The other day, I'm gonna finish him with fake leather and with some feathers, the same ones that I use for the jacket. And with this bracelet that I found in second hand shop, I'm gonna start to embellishment the corset. And with some gemstones, I will embellishment the corset. With some yarn, I make the hair. And with a pet brush, I brush it. You get this? And with my hair styling, I'm gonna push it really hard. And again with the pet brush, you get a really soft and shiny yarn hair for the doll. You pick up a plastic surface with some glue and you glue the points of the yarn and let it dry for the night. I will do this with the rest of the yarn. I already make her a wig with Mod Pod and medical gas. And now I'm gonna attach the yarn that I made with some hot glue around the wig. And always starting from the bottom. With a little bit of water and a toothbrush, I start giving uh, the shape. And I'm gonna put her part and make the face of the doll. I start with the accessories because I don't want to damage the body or the face after it's done. can scratch really easily with Mr. Super Clear. For the hairband, I'm gonna use the same feathers and this gold wired. I'm gonna go around it, cut at the end, the excess. <laughs> and with this plastic from soda bottle, I'm gonna make the hairband. I'm gonna cover it with fake leather, the same one that I use in the corset. and embellish her with gemstones. Everything in the color of gold and champagne. With this gold wires, I'm gonna give her the finish. I'm using hot glue, it's easier. For the face, I give it three layers of Mr. Super Clear. Let it dry between the layers, always using a mask. Don't forget that. I let it dry for 30 minutes. And now with my soft pastels and with my watercolor pencils, I'm gonna start the face of our queen.
with a light pencil, I will start shaping the eyes. The eyebrows. The lips. We start with a light pencil because if we made a mistake, it's easier to erase. And when you're happy, then you can start building the colors. Don't forget the birthmark. I give her blue eyes. She's wearing a contact lens, light blue. And you're gonna build the colors in each layer that you give it to her. I give it in total three layers to begin and then four layers and then I seal my work with another layer of Mr. Super Clear. <laughs> I'm using a red watercolor pencil for her lips and I want to give her an open mouth. Start building the eyebrows. <laughs> the eyeliner. After another layer of Mr. Super Clear, I come and I begin to give her some highlights. The metal gold color that you see it, I use it with the metal watercolors that I show you in other videos. I really like them because they don't disappear with the Mr. Super Clear. And everyone knows that, that normally metallic colors, they disappear with Mr. Super Clear, but not the watercolor. And I repeat the same process all over again to give it more details and more opacity. I'm gonna give her eyelashes in the bottom. And now, again with the watercolor, I will give her the eyeshadow that she has and the highlights of the eyes. Turning to the hair again, I'm gonna stylish with my hairstyle and with my metal stick and I'm gonna curl it and give it the shape that she wear it. The yarn is really good for this. You can make it a lot of different hairstyles. With synthetic hair is not so easy. In the shop last week, I saw sheep hair. I think I'm gonna buy it and try it to make it for the dolls. For the gloves, I use the same fabric that I use in the panties and I'm gonna paint the hands in black. The final touches, I'm gonna use these gold little brilliants. I am gluing them with hot glue. I'm trying to give her as much detail that Howard Queen uses it in the competition. Oh, 
Of course, it's not a, a replica. I'm trying to be faithful for with her clothes and her style. And now with my white acrylic, I give her the final highlights. I give opacity to the sclera. I give her the highlights in the in the eyes with a little tiny brush that you use for nail art. I give a human eyelashes. And I'll give her the brilliant that she use it in the ear drop in the corner of her eye. I'm gonna glossy the eyes and her lips. And with this, our queen is ready. Bye, see you in the next video. Dear Envy Peru, congratulations. You're a winner, baby. Your charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent is so enormous. You've snatched the title of the first Dutch drag race superstar. Let your home.